Hello and welcome back to the Ninja Brand Parkour Gym here in Colorado. Once again, I am Jason Budden, and this is going to be part three of my slant gainer tutorial. Okay. In part one, we went over frisbees. In part two, we went over back tucks. And in part three, today, we are going to go over a J step frisbee. Now we're going to start combining a couple different parts. Now, coming on over here already. So a J-step, a lot of people get confused with a flip. A J-step is not a flip, it is a setup with your feet, okay? Just so you guys know, I am a left side flipper and twister. What do you mean? I'm not an ambi turner. So if you're a right side flipper and twister, you're gonna go ahead and reverse everything I say today. This is where you guys are gonna start finding a little bit differences in the way I do it versus a right-sided person. Okay, so a J-step to begin with is a two-step process. Since I go to my left, my first step is gonna be with my right foot. Your first step should be a nice big lunge out, making sure your toe is pointing the same way your chest and your hip are. Okay, and the J part of this is you're going to make a giant J with your foot so that your foot is now facing the opposite direction as your other foot, or at least close to the opposite direction. What this does is it sets your hips and it sets your chest to start a rotation, okay? Now, when you are doing this frisbee, and even when you get to the slant gainer, you can't forget, there's not actually a rotation in it, so just be a little bit careful with how hard you swing the first couple times you do this. Otherwise, you might end up trying to do a weird cork or a B-twist that you may not be ready for. Now this time, we're gonna drive that knee up to our opposite shoulder. And just like the Frisbee, you're gonna keep your chest pointed down and your chin into your chest. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna start practicing getting height off of your kick. Since it's not a full leg kick, you don't have as much momentum, so you should have more control when you do this. Okay, so once I'm here, and a little bit of a slow-mo action for you guys, I'm gonna take one step out, my J step. And what this does is it acts as a doorstop, stops my forward momentum. I'm going to drive this knee up to my opposite shoulder, and as I do, I'm gonna drive knees in, I'm going to tuck, and I'm gonna do that rotation. Don't be afraid to get height off of these. This is exactly what that's supposed to promote, is getting height off of that kick and off of that single leg takeoff. That way you're more comfortable when you get to the slant gainer. So don't be afraid. You're also always gonna be facing the ground, so you shouldn't have that upside down vertigo moment of freak out. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple of these for you guys. So first, one step, big step, driving up, stair, and full turn. This one is not uncommon to over rotate. It is not a problem if you rotate at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple more of these so you guys can get a few different angles. Okay, don't forget, a hard drive with that knee is not a bad thing. Drive that knee up to that shoulder as hard as you can, get as much height out of it as you think you can get. Last thing to note is my shoulders. I am using my shoulders as I set in. My shoulders are getting my chest nice and broad, and all that's keeping me from going backwards is my chin staying in my chest. If my chin went backwards, I'd be going into that backwards rotation, and we don't want to go there quite yet, okay? So let's go ahead and do one more of these so you guys can see how they should look. Excellent. So, like I said, this is part three of our J-Step tutorial. If you start practicing these in sequence, you should start to get a feeling for what a slant gainer should feel like. Now, be careful, slant gainer and cheat gainer are two different moves, okay? Right now we're doing a slant gainer. Just keep that one in mind when you're talking to friends. If there's a little bit of miscommunication in the term, you can go ahead and send them this way and we'll go into it a little bit more in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.